G'day guys, this week in the workshop we've got the Aussie Drifter in here. Now it's come in because it's got three separate battery banks. It's got a 24 volt starting bank, a 24 volt house bank and a 12 volt house bank. It's got six batteries spread out across the whole thing. Now we're going to be hoping to tidy that up a little bit and we're actually going to be fitting a 48 volt battery bank because that'll allow the customer to run an 8 kVA inverter in there. Um, which will let them run their two split system air conditioners, coffee machines, toasters, microwaves, all that sort of stuff, and as well as being able to run a couple at once. It'll give you more than 16 amps of usable power at 240 volt, which means you'll have more power than any other caravan that's plugged into mains. You'll also be having 3000 watts of solar on his roof, which the owner of this owning a fabrication company has actually made up some brackets around the whole thing to allow that much solar to fit. He'll also be towing a trailer where there's another 2000 watts on it that we're gonna feed in for a combined total of 5,000 watts, and that'll allow the customer to run his two split system air conditioners comfortably. Should make for one heck of a system. So because this one is such a complex job, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wire everything on the bench out here just to make our lives easier. It means we're not sitting in that confined space all day long. Uh, what I've done is I've cut some 25 mil ply to size, got another board in there as well for the inverter to be mounted on. Mounted all the electronics onto this board out here, I'll wire it all up, we'll slide it in there, and there'll still be plenty of space for all of the customer's other equipment that he originally had under there as well. Okay, we've now completed the installation and we're down underneath the vehicle. And this is where we basically mounted the heart of the system. So we've got two 24 volt, 200 amp hour lithium batteries at the rear with room for heaps more in terms of expansion. We've got an 8,000 volt amp inverter just mounted here and two separate solar controllers. One runs the 3,000 watts of solar on the vehicle itself and another one runs the 2,000 watts that we've actually got mounted on the trailer. Then we've got a bunch of DC-DC chargers and converters. A pair of them will handle the charging of the alternator. And then we've got two more, one to run the 12 volt loads and one to run the 24 volt loads. We'll talk about the fusing we've got on this system. So we've, being that we're using a Lynx Smart BMS to control the batteries, it only made sense to use a Lynx distributor to handle the fusing. Now this fellow here lets us fit mega fuses in, and the reason this is important is whenever you're doing a 48 volt system, you need higher rated fuses, like in terms of voltage, and that's because if you use a lower rated fuse, you might find that it doesn't blow properly, or you have issues with arcing. Um, so what we've done is we've used this Lynx distributor here, and anything we couldn't get on a mega fuse, or the load was too, like the wire was too small, and the fuses couldn't go small enough, we've tied over here onto this Safety Hub 150, and this has allowed us to use 48 volt rated MIDI fuses for any of the smaller loads. Here we are inside the big motorhome. Obviously a lot of the work has been done down below already, but I'd just like to show you a few things that we've done inside the motorhome. We've got a Touch 50 display screen there that'll be able to monitor everything for you. We've got a system switch just below it that we've installed when the bus is in storage. All you have to do is flick that switch and it isolates absolutely everything. Another few things we've done, we've removed the chargers from down the back so that they won't interfere with the system that we've put in. We've had the electrician run a heavy cable up to the subboard up there and now the customer can run both his split system air conditioners at the same time, as well as things like his dishwasher, um, microwave, toaster, kettle, even his washing machine that's down below as well. The customer's also asked us to have a look at his cell fire go and his satellite system as they weren't previously not working. We've just checked it, it was under fuse, we've got that all sorted for him. The customer is now completely self-sufficient and he can go absolutely anywhere he wants and still be able to run everything in the motorhome. All right, since it was first dropped off to us, we haven't had the trailer actually hooked back up to the big coach. We've now hooked it up and we've got the full 5,200 watts of solar punching in power into the battery system. If you're after a custom power system, give us a call at Solar Inside Bundaberg.